I'd like to now call up MP Melissa Lansman, Deputy Leader of Canada's Official Opposition. Good evening. This is not where we want to be tonight, but I am so glad to see you here. And we stand here in solidarity with all of you in Israel's hour of need on behalf of Pierre Polyev, on behalf of the Conservative Party, alongside my colleagues, Michael, Scott, Anna, and soon Roman. Friends, on the 50th anniversary of the Yom Kippur War, on Simchat Torah and on Shabbat, our democratic ally Israel was attacked and a massacre in front of the whole world continues. The greatest number of Jews killed in a day since the Holocaust. As of this afternoon, the number dead is at least 900, though there will, it will likely be higher by the time we get home. Over 2,200 have been injured, over 150 taken hostage in Gaza, their fate unknown. Almost as soon as word got out that this massacre begun, too many rejoiced. Even right here in Canada, there are hate celebrations over the brutal slaughter of Jews in the open. And it is a product of a world that sanitizes the brutality of Hamas and demonizes Israel. And no matter what that number is, ever, conservatives unequivocally condemn the brutal atrocities by Hamas terrorists and the sadistic violence against innocent civilians. Children in cages, women raped, bodies desecrated, and the elderly ripped from their homes. The world needs to know. I will be clear, conservatives will be clear, Pierre Polyev will always be clear that Israel has the right to defend itself against these attacks and retaliate against the attackers as any country would. The extremist bullies must be confronted for the misery, the murder, and the chaos across Israel and Gaza. Hamas is responsible. And each time there is a terror attack on Israeli soil, it should shake every person to their core. We all know someone, someone scared for their lives, for the safety of their children, someone trying to get home, someone who will bury a family member, or worse, someone whose family members will never come back again. All of us are feeling helpless on how to respond. And conservatives will always pledge solidarity with the victims, their families, and those fighting for their existence. Friends, I want to say Jews have survived 2,000 years in exile, fighting to return to their homeland. We have survived being beaten, burned, hung, gassed. We have survived every effort to eradicate our identity, and we will survive blatant terrorism. It has never broken us, and it will never break us. There are a lot of people with nice things to say right now. We have a lot of friends when it's easy, but very few when it's hard. And we must watch carefully at those who fail to have the courage to stand by their conviction. We must, we must watch carefully at those who equivocate between the heartless terrorists and the innocent, li uh, and the innocent lives. Watch carefully the words used by our leaders and by the organizations we all contribute to trying to say nothing and say everything at the same time. And watch carefully those who allow the glorification of terror in our streets, 
intimidation in our neighborhoods, and risks to our own safety. This cannot be rationalized, and it can never be justified. I want you to know that I might not be your MP, but I will always be your voice in Parliament. And when they stop being your voice and the calls for de-escalation and proportionality start, I will be your voice. Conservatives will be your voice. And when the leaders are silent, make them speak. When they do nothing, make them act. And when they pretend like you don't exist, let them know you are here. It is a time to be united. You are all here tonight. And we will be for, there for you in Ottawa. And together we will fight this battle. Israel will win this war. And freedom and justice and human rights will eclipse terror. May God bless Canada, may God bless Israel, and may God bless the troops on the front lines.